Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. Vertically, a tech startup based in London and Newcastle has raised over 1 million euros. The company helps brands to engage with both offline and online customers and says it will use the funds to continue its international expansion. Microsoft has unveiled a new system of bots that can represent businesses and interact with users via Skype. The social bot, named Cortana, will act like a human and could help you achieve things like booking a hotel. In more embarrassing news for the tech giants, they reactivated their artificial intelligence Twitter bot named Tay, who managed to make a stir on social media, tweeting out nonsense. We've extended the deadline of our elevator pitch competition. You now have until the 7th of April to complete your application. You have the chance to win your own promotional video and coverage on the Tech City News website. You'll also be automatically entered into our awards at the end of the year. Previous winners have now collectively raised over $80 million. Head to techcitynews.com forward slash apply. Spotify is stepping up the race to be Apple by taking out $1 billion in debt financing. Despite being valued at over $8 billion, the company has chosen to get a cash injection that won't affect its valuation. The new financing could mean an opportunity to make acquisitions and tap into new audiences of independent listeners. Our download of the week is O to the B. The app was created by the STEMettes, an organization that encourages young girls to pursue STEM subjects. The app connects the students with role models, helps them find work experience opportunities, and inspires young girls into STEM careers. And finally, European researchers have developed an artificial fingertip that provides tactile feedback to the user. The technology connects the human's nerves to the bionic finger so they can be stimulated by electronic pulses. That's it for this week when human eyes and bots are set to take over. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.